Hey guys, it's Maria. Welcome back to my channel. I post videos every single Thursday giving you guys the best tips and tools for being more effective in your practice sessions and helping you achieve your musical goals. So if you're new, consider subscribing. This video is for those of you who are applying to or want to apply to music school. I've received a few messages over Instagram over the past few weeks asking me how to prepare, what to expect, and let me tell you, when I was applying to my BMUs four years ago, I was all over YouTube looking for helpful videos with tips and tricks for auditions. Today there are so many more videos on YouTube about auditions, but not really a comprehensive guide on how to nail your audition. So hopefully I'm going to answer all of your questions in this video, and let me know in the comments if you want me to turn this into a series for you guys because I feel like there's so much to say about auditions that I can't possibly fit it all into one video. Now just a disclaimer, I know that some schools are only doing virtual auditions this year but some schools are still doing live auditions so for this video I'm only going to be talking about live auditions and let me know in the comments if you want a video on virtual auditions. I'm going to divide this video into three parts, planning your repertoire, planning your trip, and what to do the day of your audition. So let's get into the video. The first step planning your audition rep usually happens months before your audition. So I would say around May or June of the year you're planning to apply, start planning your audition rep. Music school deadlines are usually end of November or December 1st, and some schools do even earlier, so do your research about the school you're applying to so you don't miss the deadline. When you're planning your rep, the first thing you have to do is read the requirements. Don't assume that all schools have cookie cutter identical requirements, and while most schools do have a Baroque work, classical work, romantic work, and 21st century and study requirement, not all of them are the same. So make sure you do the research for each one of the schools you're applying to so you have all the pieces you need. Another thing to watch out for is whether or not the school allows the same repertoire to be used in your pre-screening tapes as your live audition. The second thing is make sure you're playing pieces you feel super comfortable with and preferably have played for a while. Unlike competitions, which come super frequently and should be used to make you push yourself to learn new rep, your audition seasons don't come all that often. So if you haven't looked at that sonata yet and it's already September, don't risk picking it up and just go with something you already know. When you're practicing your rep, keep in mind that you usually get to pick the first piece you play at your audition. The jury will pick the order for the rest of your audition, so make sure you start off with your strongest, most favorite piece to set yourself up for a great audition. You'll be cut off around the middle of each piece, at least for pianists. For preludes and fugues, my experience has been they listen to the whole prelude and about half of the fugue, or sometimes they listen to the whole prelude and the whole fugue. For sonata, they will definitely ask for your first movement. They'll cut you off around the recap. Second movement will also be cut short. They usually skip the third movement, go straight to the fourth, or if you have no fourth movement, they won't skip the third movement. For the rest of your pieces, there really isn't that much of a pattern as to where they cut you off because the forms are also different, but if you analyze the form of your piece and see where it starts to repeat, your best guess is that's where they're going to cut you off. For my auditions, I never played my 21st century piece, which was kind of weird, but it happens, so don't be alarmed if the the jury completely ignores one piece on your program. All that being said, practice your pieces keeping in mind that you don't really know where they're going to cut you off, so you should definitely be able to play through your whole piece if need be. Another thing is the length of the audition will vary from school to school, so the longer the audition, the later they will cut you off in the piece. So if you can, contact the admin team before you plan your trip so you know what to expect for each school. So now we're moving on to part two, which is planning your trip. This is fairly self-explanatory, but the more you plan before your trip, the less stress you're gonna be on your trip. So whether that means making sure you have a visa, making sure you have cash in the currency you need on hand to pay for your taxi or food, or making sure the hotel will let you in if you're under 21, be prepared. When you're booking your hotel and flight, Two things, make sure you get the closest hotel to the school and fly in the night before. With a closer hotel, you'll be able to sleep longer and hopefully only have to walk a few blocks to get to your school. I've done both, booking a hotel that's far away and close, and it's so much more stressful to have to plan for traffic, public transit, all that stuff, when with a closer hotel, all you have to plan for is walking a few blocks. When I was actually auditioning in New York, I realized two hours before my audition that I forgot my performance shoes. So luckily my hotel was only a few blocks away so I had time to run there and back and go get them. But can you imagine if I was a 40 minute drive away from the school? That would definitely be a stretch to get there and back 
40 plus 40 minutes in two hours. So now we're moving on to part three, which is what you do the day of your audition. First off, make sure you get all the basics for a good day. So that means enough sleep, enough food, and enough time to get ready. So lay out all your clothes, all your scores, and pack if you need to the night before to make your morning as easy as possible. Next, make sure you come to the school with plenty of time, especially if you've never been there before. You will most likely get lost. So just give yourself that extra time to find somebody who can help you rather than running around and freaking out because your audition is in 20 minutes and you haven't even changed or warmed up yet. Next is warming up. Most schools give you 15 to 30 minutes to warm up, but again, it's best to contact the admin team ahead of time so you have tons of time to come up with a good warm up strategy. For my practice routine, I usually practice slowly with metronome, go over any hard spots, go over my beginnings, and go over any parts I want to absolutely nail. I won't get too much into the details of my warm up routine, but let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that as a separate video. One important thing to remember is way before your audition, make sure you come up with a good warm up strategy and make it a part of your daily practice routine. This will help reduce stress the day of your audition because when you're in a new city and a new school playing on a new piano with new people around you, you will still have your old warm up routine and that will be calming. Just make sure you don't warm up for too long and remember playing your piece from beginning to end is not a good warm up. I'm not really sure why people are still doing that. The final step is to play your audition. They'll call your name and you just go in and do it. Smile, say hello, be polite, and you'll be great. And when you're done your audition, go do something fun. Go for a walk, go sightseeing, go meet up with a friend, get food. Reward yourself for all that hard work you did and for the stress of going through an audition. You did it. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more music content. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.